I S U P K. Hispanics and Native Americans are God's children. And that's what we teach according to the Bible, man. You ain't gonna hear the truth in that Christian church you've been going to all them years, man. Right. Getting lied to and finessed and hustled by some pimp pastor, man. The, pa the Christian church has made billions of dollars off of the black community. The Christian church is the biggest black business in the black community. But yet and still, it seemed like the churches are the biggest problem. The churches is where all the children get molested. The churches is where the, the marriages get broken. The churches are the ones teaching black women to be disrespectful to black men. The churches are the ones robbing black women. If you want to fix the black community, the first thing you ought to do is shut down every last goddamn church, mosque, kingdom hall, any all that garbage, man. You know why? because black people should have never followed any religion. Every religion is based off of another race of people, man. Our culture, according to this book, is not religious. It's not religious for you to not sleep with a white woman. That's practical knowledge. Look at OJ. I bet OJ, if he could go back, he wouldn't have slept with that white woman. He would have kept his first one, a sister. Look at Tiger Woods. If Tiger Woods could go back, I bet he wouldn't sleep with that white woman. That's right. But guess what? We hear the knowledge and the truth according to this Bible, and then we think it's religious, man. Guess what? We don't come out here for religion, man. We the Israelite school of universal practical knowledge. Started out of 1 West, 125th Street, out of Harlem, New York, under commanding General Yohanna. We teach the truth according to the Bible. And that's that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the real Jews, according to this book. That's right. We are the lost 12 tribes of Israel. We are the Israelites. And guess what? In this very same book, the Bible, the same Bible that's in every church, the same Bible that grandmama got, it says the white man is the devil, the Bible speaks of. That's right. You know why the white man is the devil? The word devil means deceiver. And the white race has deceived the entire earth into believing that they are the superior race. Right. They have deceived the entire earth into believing that they are superior. Listen, say it again. Right, that they are God. They painted the greatest man to ever walk the face of the earth, Jesus Christ, as a white boy. When Christ was from Israel, That's right. Israel where it's located on the on the globe is in a tropical region. White people don't live in that, that area normally. And furthermore, the Bible says Christ, Christ is a black man. That's right. So why do we have this image of a white Jesus? You know why? Because the white man's a devil. I just proved it to you that quick. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep going into it, though. Give me Revelations 11 and 8. We call the white man a devil because no other race of people has been a bigger terrorist 
to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans than a white man. That's right. No other race of people has done the atrocities and tragedies to blacks people more than a white man, man. That's right. You don't believe me? Look at these signs. What is the slavery sign then? Look at the slavery sign. Look at this lynching sign. Look what these people did to our people. What did black people ever do to deserve this type of hate and, and terrorism, man? America going over to the Middle East fighting wars, talking about it's a war on terrorism. You got damn right it's a war on terrorism. Black people been living in it for 400 years. That's right. The white man is the biggest terrorist on the earth. And he treats black people the worst. You understand? The same way we get treated in America as the slaves is the same way we were treated in Egypt, man. I bet that sounds strange. It shouldn't sound strange. You got a dollar bill in your pocket. Take the dollar bill out and look on the back of it. And what you gonna see on there? The eagle, like the Egyptians had, and that pyramid, like the Egyptians had. You know why? Because America is Egypt all over again. That's right. America is Egypt reincarnated, and the Bible says so. Let me help y'all with something, man. It's a lot of people that think they know something about something. When the Bible is the epitome of knowledge, man, the Bible is the pinnacle of wisdom. That's right. The problem is the white man has taught black people to not believe in this book. The white man wrote that book. That book ain't real. Why would the white man call himself the devil in his own book? Hey. He didn't. Because he didn't write it, man. That's right. He did not write this book. This book was written by black men. That's right. These are our historical records. Right. Our culture is found in this book right here, man. Right. You ain't going to find the truth nowhere else. Even in the goddamn Quran, it tells you the children of Israel are special. That's right. The Israelites are special. You know why? Because the Bible is the number one source of truth and knowledge and wisdom, man. The churches don't teach the Bible. That's right. The churches don't teach the truth. The churches are the ones robbing the black community blind. The churches are the reason why black people get murdered by the police, and then we singing and dancing. I seen the protests. They had a protest for Breonna Taylor. Breonna Taylor was murdered in her own home while she was asleep by racist police officers. And they had a protest for Breonna Taylor. And guess what the protest turned into? The Cupid Shuffle. How does a protest asking for justice turn into you dancing with the police officers, man? Right. You know why? Christianity. Christianity is nothing more than white supremacy. Right. Christianity teaches black people to keep loving white people in spite of what they do to us. Right. Christianity teaches black people to be good slaves, to say please and thank you, to always love when they hurt and abuse us, to forgive. These Christian pastors been lying to black people. You got to love them. You got to forgive. You get more. You, you got to take all that hate out your heart. Why are you telling us to take the hate out of, out of our heart? Black people have done nothing but love America. We do nothing but serve America. Right. Black people sacrifice for this nation. The oppressors are the ones with the hate in their hearts. Right. You know, you know, look at their treatment. Look how they treat our people. It's Hispanic children in cages right now. You can't keep a dog in a cage for 24 hours without the police coming to your house. But you can keep Hispanic children in cages in America. Because America is a whore, according to the Bible. Right. America is Babylon. That's and right. God hates America. And God is going to destroy America. That's the right. same way he destroyed Egypt. That's right. Read that scripture. Revelation chapter 11 verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street. The scripture says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street. Let me ask you something. Whose dead bodies are being laid in the street from the police murdering them, man? Right. You know how long Michael Brown's body laid in the street after he was murdered? They said Michael Brown's body laid in the street for about six hours. Six hours. This young boy's dead body laid in the goddamn street for six hours. Now, you know, if that was a white boy who was killed in the street, they would have got him out of there. The first thing, you know what I'm saying, as soon as it happened. But black people, our lives mean nothing to America, man. Black people, we the ones that work, the drive, we they drive their buses, we take out their trash, we work as the maids in their hotels, we they cooks, we do all the jobs that they would never do. And they look at us like we the problem in America. You finding out now these white boys has always been the problem. That white boy Kyle Rittenhouse went and shot three protesters, killed two of them. 
That's who they are. They are a violent people. And because they are so violent, black people's dead bodies lay in the streets, man. We lay in the streets from the murder that these people commit on our people. It's been like that since we got here, man. Since they brought us here in 1619, nothing has changed. You think the white man has stopped hating you because 400 years has passed? These people hate us, man. That's why when they hear the truth, they smile and they laugh and they shake their head because they hate to hear the truth, man. The white man doesn't like to believe that he's a devil. They think that they're angels are special. You know why? Christianity. The Christian church never told us the scripture right here. The Christian church never told us that America is Egypt all over again. The Bible gonna tell you right here. Read it from the top. Revelation chapter 11 verse 8 and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. America is the great city. Everybody knows on the face of the earth, America is looked at as the superpower of the earth. You don't, don't believe me? What nation has bases all across the globe? What base, what nation has military might exercised all across the earth? The United States of America. The United States of America is a bully on the earth. You understand? They go and terrorize other nations and destroy economies. You know what I'm saying? That's what they do. They've always done it. America is the great city. Hell, Donald Trump got elected saying, make America great again. Well, the Bible is called America the great city. It's in the Bible. What you don't understand is what we're going through is not anything new. What happened before happens now. And that's why they have lied to us about our history. Because if we knew our history, we would know what to expect in the present day and in the future. And it says, their dead bodies shall lie dead. Read it again. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. America is the great city where blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans' dead bodies lay in the street, man. We are the only ones that suffer the type of terrorism in this nation. America is supposed to be the most civilized nation on the face of the earth, but they treat black people like terrorists. They treat terrorists better than black people. Osama bin Laden people's been over here in America getting up all the Arab money. They don't get stopped by the police. The Arabs don't have to worry about police brutality. The Chinese man don't have to worry about police brutality. You know who got to worry about when you leave the house, you got to talk to your little son. If the police pull you over, put your hands up. We got to have conversations with our goddamn kids because we know the white man is the devil. That's right. There's such devils that we got to tell our little seven and eight year old boys, listen, if the police stops you, talk to them respectful and nice. Put your hands up. We damn near train our kids more than the police get trained. Right. Come on, man. Black man, you gotta realize you have always been at war with the police. Wake up, man. We've been at war with America. America has been waging war on black people. We gotta start acting like it, man. We walking around here thinking everything is okay. When right now they are waging war on our people. Do you know in the ICE detention centers, they were given Hispanic women hysterectomies. A hysterectomy is where they take out the woman's uterus so she can't have no more kids. You know they did, it, they did that to black women too. The white man doesn't want black and Hispanic and Native American women to have kids. That's why they put the Planned Parenthoods in our neighborhoods. That's why they put black men and black women against each other. That's why they fight to make sure black men and black women don't stay together. Because they know if black men and black women stay together, we have kids, and we have kids easy. That's right. I know a lot of brothers know what I'm talking about. A lot of us then got sisters pregnant on accident. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's the Lord, man. Children are a beautiful blessing, man. And the white man understands the more children we have, the more power we have. That's just common war strategy. If you know anything about war, the more people you have, the better chances you have at winning the war. So the white man makes sure that the black woman thinks she gotta kill her kids to have a career. I gotta get this, get this abortion so I can keep going to school. We think that we gotta destroy ourselves to make it in America. When America is not worth us making it, man. America is not worth us giving our love. America is Egypt all over again. The Bible calls America Sodom and Egypt. Read that. Yeah. Nobody tell you.
Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain, and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed, I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick, a habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? With them the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No calling can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.